Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is working on a new app, as I have been posting, um, called PC Manager, that is very similar to CCleaner and other PC optimization apps. And PC Manager allows you to perform basic computer maintenance, as I have been posting, and also speed up your device with a single click. And I'll leave a link to a video I did post on that previously if you'd like some more info. Now, just to let you know that if you are using PC Manager, that as we can see, the app has received a major version upgrade to version 3, and brings a whole new brand new look and feel and a completely different layout to how the app was and how it looked previously. Now, um, one or two things just to take note of at first. Um, it's still in public beta, so you can expect to find a couple of bugs because it still is still in preview. And uh, um, it's still work in progress. And as I've mentioned previously, um, the app doesn't include any new cleaning tools or maintenance tools or optimization tools. What Microsoft has done with this app is they've just um, given you options and settings that point towards existing features that are already available in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, um, it just is a shortcut that it just brings shortcuts collated into one convenient app that gives you access to all the different maintenance options available in both operating systems. So just take note of that. Now, um, just to go through the new app step by step if you would be interested because things are a little bit different to how they were previously. We now get this little left hand menu that wasn't there previously which is a little taskbar so to speak which brings the different categories you can head over to to that menu. Now the home page includes a new health check which if you cl uh, click on will um, give your PC a health check. And here's the PC boost that you can boost your PC with a single click. And here you can see you have your memory usage and your temporary files. And when you click on boost, obviously it will um, optimize your memory and clean out those temporary files. And here we have um, common shortcuts to health check your um, running apps, uh, deep clean and your startup apps as an example. If we head to protection, this um, lets you scan um, using Microsoft Defender. And here we get allowed threats, which is part of Microsoft Defender. And then these are all different shortcuts pointing towards existing features and um, more or less in the operating system. Windows Update, Browser Protection, Taskbar Repair was a new tool that rolled out. Um, restore Taskbar and Restore Default Toolbars that rolled out in the previous um, release. And I'll leave a link to that video down below, as mentioned. And you get restore default apps and then pop-up management, which was also a new tool that rolled out in a prior update. Storage, and um, this takes you to obviously cleaning up your storage. You get a deep clean. And I actually think this deep, deep clean is a new option available now in version 3. You scan on that, you can deep clean your PC, you can manage large apps. And this takes you directly to the storage sense utility built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. You head into app management. This is the apps running now currently running in the background your startup apps and you can head over to your installed apps to manage your apps now this is a new page and a new bunch of settings and options that have been included um toolbox and here we can see it takes you to existing tools like screenshot screenshot folder notepad calculator web tools and so on but the interesting thing with this toolbox is you can show toolbar on the desktop now for toolbox so it adds a little desktop widget so there you go you now have a widget for your PC Manager app. And um, if widgets are your thing and, you know, desktop widgets, then you can click on the boost, which will boost your PC with one click. You can click on screenshot, which opens up the existing screenshot tool in both operating systems. You can click on notepad, which will open up your notepad for whatever reason. Um, Edge quick links, so you have access to OneDrive. You can open up Edge directly from your little widget now. And here we get different settings where you can add different tools, um, which include a screenshot folder, a calculator, Bing translator, currency converter. So quite a lot going on in this recent update to the PC Manager app. And uh, as mentioned, is rolling out for both uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head to the last page, which is settings, yeah, you have a smart boost, which I don't use because I personally don't like apps to run in the background and do their own thing when it comes to maintenance. But this has been there previously. And what smart boost does is it will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM um, is detected or there are one gigabyte of temporary, temporary files available. So if you pop that on, that's what smart boost will do. And then um, 
you can obviously let the app run when you s boot into your operating system. You have an option to get early access, uh, which I have, which gives you access to ex the experience, the latest features. And auto update PC manager is turned on. And obviously, if it's not up to date, you'll be able to click on the actual update tab, which will update you now to the latest version, version 3.0.0.0. So just letting you know about that. Uh, the new PC Manager app now available, um, rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which has been bumped up to version 3. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.